So this question asks us to rewrite the following in terms of a sum or difference of products of functions. So basically expand it using the rules of logarithms. And there's three basic rules we need to remember. The log of m times n is log m plus log n. So that tells us that the log of the product is the sum of the logs. Quotients similarly, the log of m over n is log m minus log n for any base. And if I have the log of m to some exponent p, I can pull the exponent down, which we've seen before, p times log of m. So this one we have a product first, so I've got log of this times this, so it's the log of the first plus the log of the second. So we start with that. Log five of x squared plus log base five. Square root of x cubed plus seven. I wanna remind you there is no log of m plus n rule. So it'll be something for us to keep in mind. And I wanna rewrite the second piece as x cubed plus seven to the one half power. A square root is the one half power. So log base five of x squared plus log base five of x cubed plus seven to the one half power. Now we can pull the exponents down. So this two comes in front and this one half comes in front. In terms of products, multiples of logarithmic expressions. So two times log base five of x plus one half times log base five, x cubed plus seven. And again, there's nothing else we can do. That'll be the most we can expand that statement. Log base five of x cubed plus seven cannot be written in any other way. So that's as far as we can expand it using those three rules. Again, log of the product is the sum of the logs. Log of the quotient is the difference of the logs and you can pull the exponent down. Those are our three basic properties. So let's look at another one. If I have natural log, which of course means log base E, natural log of x to the seventh over x minus two cubed. That is a quotient. So the log of the quotient is the difference of the logs. So that would be the difference. So log x to the seventh, natural log x to the seventh, minus natural log x minus two cubed. And then we can pull those exponents down. So the seven comes down in front of the log sign, and the three comes down in front of the log sign. So we get seven times natural log of x, minus three times natural log of x minus two, and that's as far as that one can go. And I've got one more problem I'd like to look at here, which is log base seven. Upstairs we have the cube root of x to the fifth plus two. Downstairs we have x to the fourth times x plus seven to the eighth. And I'll put parentheses here just so we can recognize that what we have here is the log of a quotient. So the log of the quotient is the difference of the log, log at the top minus log at the bottom. The log base seven of the top, which is cube root of x to the fifth plus two minus log base seven of the bottom. What is the bottom? x to the fourth times x plus seven to the eighth. And I'll rewrite that first piece as log base seven x to the fifth plus two raised to the one third power. Cube root one third power minus big brackets. The log of the product is the sum of the logs. So log seven x to the fourth plus log seven x plus seven to the eighth. We can pull these exponents down. Remember the exponents can come down in front. The one half 
in front of the log, the four in front of the log, the eight in front of the log. So my next line will be one half log base seven x to the fifth plus two minus brackets, bring down the four, four log base seven of x plus eight log base seven of x plus seven. And we're gonna finish this. Our very last line will be requiring us to distribute that minus sign. And we get one half log base seven of x to the fifth plus two minus four log base seven is f of x as we distributed here. And then distributed also there minus eight log base seven of x plus seven. 